What's going on investors? My name is Emmanuel and Monday was a pretty insane day for the stock market and that's following the news over the weekend that the media have now projected Joe Biden to be the next US president and that has clearly settled some of the election nerves from investors but on top of that Pfizer also announced world-changing news of a Roni vaccine that is 90% effective. Now that's pretty remarkable considering a typical flu vaccine at best is only 52% effective and that also depends on the seasonality, the year and also the strand of the flu. So a 90% effectiveness vaccine on the Roni is, is pretty unbelievable when you think about the amount of time they had to create it. That aside, it does indicate that there might be light at the end of the tunnel and the stocks that have been affected or straight up beaten down by the Roni now stand a very good chance of recovering and that means we as investors are now presented with some opportunities to buy some recovery stocks. So with that said, this video will be focused on my top 5 UK recovery stocks that stand to benefit from a post Rony Rona era. Because in the words of the great Napoleon Hill, your big opportunity might be right where you are now. So we will start in the UK, however I will post a US version next on my channel so please definitely look out for that video as well. I'm excited to share these stocks with you today but right before we jump into it, please don't forget to destroy that like button. It lets me know that you enjoy this type of content plus it helps my channel and if you are new to the channel then hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my stock analysis, all the stocks that I buy, sell and that are on my watch list as well as any major stock related news. So with that said, Stay locked in, watch until the end, and let me know what your favorite UK recovery stocks are. Okay, so the first UK stock I really like is called the Sage Group PLC. And I have to give a quick shout out to my guy Yassine for recommending I take a look at this stock in the first place. I did, and it definitely caught my attention. So Sage Group did get hammered as a result of the Roni and dropped to lows of £5.30 back in March, but has recovered a decent bit, but it's still away from its pre-Roni highs of £7.80. And that means there's a decent amount of gains to be had once it does return to those pre-Roni highs. Plus, this is the type of company that thrives when small to medium-sized businesses are up and running. And once we get back to that, I see this stock climbing much higher than £7.80. However, if you're not familiar with Sage Group, they are essentially a company that provides their software as a service. So we've covered that business model in a few of my videos and I've stated that I'm a massive fan of the SaaS business model because it pretty much provides businesses with reoccurring subscription based revenue which again looks fantastic on income statements. But essentially the Sage software is cloud based and provides customers with a wide range of business solutions which range from accounting to CRM services, they also offer human resources advice management as well as cloud connected solutions. But to be honest, amongst all of that, I mainly know Sage for its accounting software because it helps with invoicing, expense management, compliance and also with taxes. Plus they are extremely useful for small to medium sized businesses. So this was the first green flag for me because I know of the business and I know people who use their services for their own businesses on a regular basis. Now when I started to look further into this company, Another major green flag for me was that they had expanded into countries outside of the UK. Presently, they have segments in North America, Northern and Central Europe, including France, and they also have segments in Africa and in the Middle East. Now, this was really great to see because we don't have that many UK-based companies that have successfully expanded abroad. So this was another huge green flag for me. And also a sign of really good management because they have the proven track record of expansion which is what you like to see. Now this company prior to the Roni Rona has been performing extremely well especially from a financial perspective. They even had a solid start to the first half of 2020. Looking at their most recent financial result, total revenue grew from the six months ended 21st of March 2019 to 2020 from £957 million to £975 million with a profit of £224 million versus £154 million just a year ago. So solid growth in their income statement and they also boast a solid balance sheet with their total current assets sitting at 329 million versus their current liabilities which sits at only 242 million pounds. So that means that they have enough in the value of their total current assets to cover their financial obligations for the next 12 months which if you consider the current climate 
is absolutely key in times like this because right now it's all about survivability at this stage especially with the UK being back in lockdown 2.0 another added bonus to Sage is that they're also a dividend payer with a 2.5 percent yield at the time of recording this now I do want to highlight some risk because like with any investment there are risks associated to every company and with Sage one of the main risks that they do have is a high debt to equity ratio which is currently sitting at 62.7 percent they currently have a 912 million pound position in cash and 1 billion in debt which means they are slightly over leveraged and that's something you would need to consider before you make an investing decision. Personally I like the current share price of Sage right now purely because of the huge potential it has when small to medium sized businesses do begin to start back up once again. However I would really love this company if it dips below £6.50 maybe into the low £6 region but I'm not sure that's likely to happen right now and there is a ton of upside potential for this company so Sage Group is my first recovery stock. So my next recovery stock is Bay. No, not my wife, Bay Systems PLC, and the ticker symbol is BAES.L. Now, this company has been getting hammered since September, and it's now currently trading at its March lows of £4.30, round about that price, and it's absolutely mental. Considering prior to the Rona, this was a six to seven pound stock. And trust me, this company is not going anywhere anytime soon. So it's currently trading at a massive discount in my opinion with a ton of upside potential. So who are Bay Systems? Well, I would say that Bay Systems are the UK's answer to the America's Lockheed Martin. They are within the same industry which is the aerospace and defense sector. Bay currently operates through five main channels which are the electronic systems, the cyber security and intelligence, platforms and services, air and maritime. Now they do go into a ton of detail regarding what each of these segments involve and how it generates them revenue which you can find on the investor relations page so please do check it out for more information but i believe this company is painfully painfully undervalued right now especially after they just recently won multiple contracts from the u.s army on the 3rd of november and that whole contract involves them developing key technologies for advanced teaming demonstration program now the contract itself is to aid the US Army with its vertical lift program which is all well and good but the main thing I wanted to know was how much this contract was worth and it states here that the contract totals nine million dollars and also includes special awards. A nine million dollar contract isn't too bad for a company with a market cap of 13 billion pounds but prior to this contract just 18 days ago, Bay was also awarded another contract to help develop a digital design for unmanned aerial vehicles capable of autonomous functions. Now this contract is a lot meatier, it's got a lot more beef on it. It has a ceiling value of $400 million, which would sit nicely on Bay's income statement. And speaking of income statement, I think part of the reason why their share price has been beaten down is due to a slight decline in revenue. Total revenue did drop from December 2019 to June 2020 and it dropped from £9.5 million to £9.1 million which initially was a cause for concern for me but after reading through their most recent report they summarised that the business was pretty much back to near normal levels of activity and therefore they expect a good second half financial results and I also think so too especially after their most recent contract wins. So to conclude I already started a position in Bay Systems this week. I started it on Monday and I have added them to my dividends portfolio. They do have a juicy dividend yield of two of just over 2.5% and they do have a ton of upside potential ahead of them. My next recovery stock is Barclays PLC. Now I won't lie I, I don't like the bank for personal reasons but I do like the stock and I believe it's one of if not the safest bank to invest in in the UK right now. Their share price also took an absolute battering with, with the collapse of the interest rates due to the Roni. Reduced interest rates is not good for banks because banks of course make most of their money off the interest. So the higher the interest rates, the more money the banks can make. So the hope is with a vaccine on the horizon, interest rates might start to go up meaning banks can start to enjoy some increments on their revenue once again which of course will boost profitability and that will make investors very happy to own the stock. Now Barclays currently has a PE ratio which is way below the UK banking sector and that makes it slightly undervalued at its current price. Earnings are also forecasted to grow by 40 plus percent 
in a recovering economy due to the possible rise in the interest rates once again. And as far as previous performance is concerned, earnings grew by 12% from the prior year. So it was doing really well pre roni and I do see this stock back in the £1.80 range, even in the £2 range, which represents a significant amount of upside for us investors to capitalise from. Now, I did have this stock on my watch list, but I'm not going to lie. On Monday's trading session, I was busy taking profits from my medical MJ stocks. But I will use those profits to invest in this company. And when I eventually do buy this company, I will let you know on my Instagram and also my Twitter. So follow me on those if you don't already. The links are in the description below. So my next two stocks are not complete recovery stocks because one of them has almost pretty much recovered from its lows and the other benefited massively from the roni but did sell off on monday with the rest of the tech stocks however this stock is in a booming industry and if it continues to decline i will be buying i will be loading the boat for its eventual recovery as the industry is in continues to boom so let's start with that stock actually the, that stock is called keyword studios ticker symbol is kws.l this is one of the rare uk tech stocks whose earnings are forecasted to grow at double digit rates regardless of the economy and i'm talking 35 percent plus per year which is insane and it's because of the specific industry that Keyword Studios is in. So essentially, Keyword Studios outsource their creative and their technical services to the video game industry. And in fact, on their recent presentation, their ambition is to be the go-to for these types of services. So straight away, I love that ambition. I like investing in companies that want to be the best in their field. So with that said, what type of services do they provide? So Keyword Studios provides art services which involves creating video game graphics and concept art in 2D and 3D. They offer player support all year round, 24 hours a day, seven days a week in multiple languages, which is crazy impressive. They also curate game forums and social media engagement. They offer full game development and audio services as well as functional testing which includes quality assurance tests and localization testing. Okay, so now you know what the company does, what is the opportunity? Well, according to a recent re market research report regarding the growth of the gaming industry, the global video game market size is valued at $151 billion in 2019 and is expected to continue to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 12.9% from 2020 to 2027. This was a study based on 2019 projections meaning they haven't even measured the huge impact and the propelling effect that the roni has had on the gaming industry with more people who've been at home and now joined the gaming industry this industry is massive it's fast growing and companies like keyword studios stand to benefit in my opinion and investors clearly know this because despite the current uncertainty and soaring roni numbers in the uk and the rest of the world keyword studios has been performing like a us tech stock right now and it's currently trading just below its all-time highs it's been on an absolute tear since its lows in march which it was trading at 13 pounds a share and i personally would want to see a price correction it currently had a correction on monday but i'm looking for a 10 percent pullback to about the £20.50 range before I decide to invest in this company. I just don't feel comfortable buying a stock right at its all-time highs no matter how amazing the company is. So I'm looking for a 10 to 15% discount. But the financials of this company is also really impressive. Revenues have only been going in one direction and that's up. Although, as of their most recent filings, revenues did see a slowdown from December 2019, but their cost of revenues did actually go up, which resulted in a reduced gross profit. And therefore, their net income has also seen a slight reduction. So it would be interesting to see their performance in their next financials, but their balance sheets, these guys have one of the best balance sheets I've seen from a UK company period cash and cash equivalents is sitting at 101 million versus total debt which is only 32 million so they could quite easily clear off all the debt if they wanted to total current liabilities is sitting at 63 million versus total current assets which is sitting, which is sitting at 190 million again there's no short-term risk of bankruptcy for this company anytime soon shareholder equity has also been on a beautiful uptrend every single quarter and that indicates to us investors that their assets are growing much faster than their liability which is very very good to see so overall solid financials of a great company that is in a rapidly growing industry 
Keyword Studios definitely have them on your watch list. A final UK stock that I really like is Right Move, and this is one that I said is pretty much almost recovered. The ticker symbol is RMV.L, and I have covered Right Move on my channel before, and I did actually buy some shares in that company a few months ago, about five pounds fifty ish. So for the purposes of the length of this video, I don't want this video to be too long. I won't go through the, my buy thesis for Right Move, and I will link that video in the description below. So please do check it out if you want to know. A bit more about right move before you invest but right move has pretty much returned nearly all of its gains from the crash in march and i'm not gonna lie i made some very very nice profits of investing in this company but i still do favor this company in the long term and i'm looking for opportunities to add if the share price does indeed dip below six pounds a share right move has been impacted by the rona and did see a heavy decline in revenue. So I expect in the next report, revenues would actually decline even further, and that could start a panic amongst investors, and they might sell, which of course will force the price lower. However, this company virtually has no debt. It has an incredible operating margin and profit margin. Right move will thrive in the recovering UK economy because it does have a strong moat within the property market, and this is why I'm confident of its growth long-term. But again, I am a buyer if this price drops below £6 a share due to the reduced revenue and I will catch its recovery on the way back if it plays out that way. So there you have it investors. Those are my top 5 UK recovery stocks to buy. Let me know in the comment section what you think of these companies and if you do have any other suggestions then of course please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. So with all that said, please make sure you do your own due diligence before you decide to invest in any stock or invest in any company. Remember, I am not a financial advisor, so please view my content as purely educational and not investing advice. If you do want to learn about investing in stocks, there are some useful links in the description below, including some books that I highly, highly recommend you purchase. So with all that said, guys, don't forget to smash the like button if you gain some value from this video. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I value your time and I'll catch you in the next one. Remember, the US version is coming out soon. So look out for that. Peace.